All right, what's up, guys? Man, it's just a bunch of uh, just it, it's a it's a bunch of stuff that I'm reacting to tonight. Freaking uh, flight reacts now. David Dobrik and his whole situation. Um, but no, let's let's see what overall goes down. This video is titled um, March twenty second, uh, twenty twenty one. Um, so yeah, for those that don't really understand this situation, so uh, David was caught up in a uh, uh, article that overall um was talking about um an old friend of his named dom um for those that don't know who dom is dom was like the pervert type guy of the group and um yeah david i mean david just overall laughed about it like a part of me is all like you know yeah like he should have told him like hey you gotta stop that and shouldn't have been enabling it and putting it in videos and stuff but i'm like literally david is his own person so i'm like to tell a grown man how to act like i don't think too many people like understands that like you can't tell another person like you, especially when they're an adult like if they a kid then it's like okay then yeah tell them it's like hey that ain't good but it's like when they're a grown man i'm like okay you should have known that from the jump that how you're acting bro you can't do that like you can't act like that so uh yeah let's go ahead and get into this video um uh, make sure if you guys haven't he uploaded this to his main channel so you know this is serious but anyways um yeah let's go ahead and get into this video once any full screen sometimes my laptop takes a while for this stuff to full all right hi guys it's um 1 in the morning and i'm finally by myself <laughs> which i know doesn't sound that crazy to be by yourself at 1 in the morning but um this week's been pretty hectic and there have been a lot of people um a lot of people around tell me what to do giving me advice um trying to help me because he did kind of he did kind of i forgot to talk about that he did kind of talk about this on his like uh podcast channel and he liked but he disabled the likes and the um comments and so people was like really um upset about that but i'm like my thing is is like look you know what i would do in this situation because i i hadn't even watched that video i had watched like uh keemstar talk about it um and i was just like okay well it's you know we already know what he's talking about we already know what's happening so i didn't even bother to watch it but i am gonna watch this because i don't know what's gonna be said um but yeah it's like you know my thing is in a situation like that where a person will disable the likes um or it's more so the comments where it's like you can't even really because i'm like likes and dislikes don't really mean nothing but excuse me um but when it's like comments, it's like when you can't really say your opinion on something. And it's like, make a video about it. Talk about it on your own case and stuff. So, um, Most importantly. And, and that was a lot. And, 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 I, and now I, I, I just want to, I want to be able to do this and just shoot straight into the camera and just talk to you guys. Um, I've put myself in a lot of situations where I've needed to apologize for my past actions and I've never done this correctly and I've never done this respectfully and my last video is a testament to that. I, I, I don't want to defend that video. I don't want to delete that video. I just want to be clear. What this video isn't going to be is it's not going to be me discrediting Trisha, Kat, or any other woman involved. Um, I'm going to be using words um, that may trigger some survivors and that's just so I don't explain anything vaguely and I can explain every situation appropriately. I want to start this video off by saying I fully believe the woman who came out against Dom and said she was by him. Um, as it was reported, the next day I got consent to post the video. Even though I got the consent to post that video, I should have never posted it. And I, what, what I understand now, and I didn't understand before, is that she sent that text because she felt like she had to, not because she wanted to. And that's fucked up. And yeah. I'm sorry. When she later reached out a couple months later to take the video down, I immediately took it down. And I want to apologize to her and her friends for ever putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their safety and values were compromised. I'm so sorry. I was completely disconnected from the fact that when people were invited to film videos with us, especially videos that relied on shock for views or whatever it was, that I was creating an unfair power dynamic. I did not know this before. It was completely wrong and I wish I was more responsible and I wish I was more aware at the time and, I, and I'm so sorry I missed that. I didn't know what was going on in that room and I should have been. I should have been there and I should have been making sure that everybody involved was was taken care of and wasn't uncomfortable. I don't want to use buzzwords to try to justify this or explain this, but all I can say is people felt 
like they had to be silent for the sake of my video. And that's not right, and it's fucked up, and I'm sorry. I also want to acknowledge the women that spoke out against Dom in 2018. I'm talking about Allie, and then I'm talking about other girls that address their problems privately or publicly. Um, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you guys. I am sorry that I, that I took Dom's word um, for what happened those, in those certain situations, and I didn't believe you. And not only did I not believe you, but I made a joke of, of what kind of a person Dom was because I couldn't wrap my head around a childhood friend of mine doing this to people and actually... That's the thing, though. It's like, you know, that's... I feel like that's probably why it took him so long to, you know, come out and talk about this because it's like, it is a friend of his. You know, like, this is somebody where it's like he might consider him a brother you know and it's and it's probably it's hard for a lot of people where it's like you come out and you talk in a like on it like in a negative way about your brother so it's like it's stuff like that look it's hard but you gotta do it okay like you gotta talk on it you gotta like you know get it out there and stuff and um yeah it's just you know it's a situation where um yeah especially you know with this like it's like you know about it then it's like you got to talk about it and stuff but it's like as much as it'll hurt as much as it you know might cause like pain to you but you 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 got to you got to talk about it cuz it's one of those things where it's like you can't just like look past it and things so but anyways we hurting people and and, and I'm sorry for that not only did I discredit <clears throat> you out but I platformed Dom. And not only did I platform Dom, but I platformed the subject of sex in a negative way where I made jokes about it and I reinforced that kind of behavior. And I'm so sorry. And I've really let not only you down, but a lot of people down, a lot of people that watch me and my friends and family for that. I made the decision to no longer film with Dom in 2019. And I'm not saying my content has been brilliant since then, but that's when I first started taking into account um, the power dynamic and what influence I had on people that I was filming with. But what I didn't do is I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I, I kind of moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it, but I didn't address the situation with these women. I'm not talking publicly, I'm saying even privately. I didn't reach out to any of these people. <clears throat> and that breaks my heart knowing that, that I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. Before my content shifted to be more responsible and positive, I said and did things that were really offensive and I called them bad jokes and I, and I can't even call them bad jokes and it was cowardly of me to say in my last apology that I missed the mark um, because it's fucking gross and I'm sorry. A lot of people reached out to me saying cancel culture is bullshit and you need to fight back and you need to call people out and I don't agree with I've, how. Yeah, here, see here's the thing, like, cause I had just, you know, I got into it with uh, some friends of mine about like the Pepe Le Pew situation and I was more so seeing it from my point of view where it's all like, y'all really out here canceling a cartoon character, like, but then the thing is, is like what, I guess like why I didn't really pick up from the situation was like why like overall like the deeper meaning behind why he's getting canceled is that there's people that have been in that situation and most likely you know they've seen uh, uh, Space Jam or was watching Looney Tunes or something or just overall remember Pepe Le Pew and realize like you know like how like messed up his character was and stuff. And so, like, as dumb as it sounds, like, you know, a skunk and, you know, chasing a cat and, you know, just being all weird around it and things. Like, there's people that will see that situation and, they'll, like, it's something that will, like, traumatize them. Because that's the thing where I'm, like, I've sat down and I've seen, like, things on TV that's, not, like, not so much as, like, traumatizing. But they'll bring up some memories and I'm, like, dang, I wish I wouldn't have watched that. Like, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it just happened to me not too long ago where I seen something that, you know, it, it is traumatizing and, you know, when you see it on TV or whatever, or social media or something, it's like, wow, that's, uh, that's crazy how like something can just like snap, like just like that in your head. So, um, I might see it as like, you know, a cartoon character, you know, just getting canceled from a movie, but I'm like, I, at the end of the day, I do know there that. <clears throat> excuse me i do know that there is a deeper meaning behind it and 
yeah, to, um, I guess, like, you know, apologizing, because I'm like, I know I've talked on it and stuff, like, on how dumb it is, so I guess, like, if I did uh, offend anybody in that, then I would like to take the time to apologize myself, but it's like, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, it, it takes time for people to learn, you know, like, I, I say, like, you know, don't, my thing is with, like, David Dobrik and with people, it's like, yeah, if you, like, continuously talk to them and continuously explain it to them, like, the situation and understand it you know i guess like at the end of the day like a person won't know until you see how like upset a person is and it's like yeah it's like when you see how um upset a person is in a situation like this or any other situation then you understand like because i've done that you know i've i've gotten people to the point where they're upset and they're crying and all of that and you you sit down and you see that and you're like dang, I didn't mean for that to happen. Like, I didn't want that to happen. So it's like, you know, when you see that, um, it's all the, when you just see that you, like, enabled something like that to that extent, then, yeah, it's like you you tend to be in this, like, you know, David situation where it's like, you know, it's emotional. It's an emotional situation. So, um, yeah, it's like just overall, like, cancel culture, it's like, it's, you know, I'm, I'm going to have, like, my mixed feelings about it, but at the um, at the same time, I'm like, I am going to understand, like, why, you know, um, people are, like, you know, canceling stuff, because I'm like, there's a deeper meaning behind it and things, but I guess, like, because I don't know, I, I'd start paying attention to cancel culture, like, in the beginning, when it was, like, literally people was trending on social media for no reason and stuff, like, it would be, like, for an example, like one of the members from One Direction and they start trending and then they're like, oh, people are canceling them for whatever reason and stuff. And I'm like, did he do something crazy? Did he do? So that's why to me, because I'm like, sometimes like cancel culture, just cancel a person for no reason. And so now it's like, you know, they're canceling people that have done things and, you know, that actually. And so that's why I'm like, I think that's more so why I have like mixed reviews about cancel culture and stuff. But anyways, back to the video this should be taken at all. And I think when there is a crisis, <clears throat> there's a serious opportunity to correct yourself, to learn and improve, and to make sure those mistakes don't <clears throat> happen again. And that's why it is so important to hold yourself accountable. And I think with this situation, there's a lot I can look at and there's a lot I can learn from, but there's a lot of mistakes that I made. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for everybody I've let down. I'm sorry to my family and I'm sorry to my friends that I've embarrassed and that this won't happen again. I'm gonna take a short break from all the social media stuff because I realize there's a serious lack of infrastructure when I make any kind of content. And I wanna be able to have a place of checks and balances. I wanna have HR and I wanna be able um, to have people communicate discomfort in a way that's, that's comfortable to them and where, where they don't feel like their emotions or what they're doing or, or how they're acting is compromised. It, it doesn't feel right to go back to posting like I have been, and it also doesn't feel right to go dark because I love what I do. But I think it is important to show that change is possible and that I'm learning, maybe even forgiveness is possible. I wanna use this opportunity to step up and own my mistakes, and like I said before, I've never done apology the right way. Um, and I'm sure I'm gonna look back at this and I'm, I'm gonna be pissed at some things that I didn't say or I wish I could have added more. Um, but this is, this is my beginning to that and, and, and I'm sorry for everybody that I hurt. I also wanna add that I'm making myself available to anyone that wants to reach out that I've hurt in the past. Um, I wanna be able to, to hear and understand from yourselves and I'll be reaching out on my own to some people um, because I still have a lot of learning to do and I think when you talk to other people, especially about experiences like this, it, um, it really helps you see things in a different way. But yeah, I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I just wanted to sit and talk and ramble and, and I, I really truly hope that someone can take something away from this experience that another creator can can take away from this and i know it's it feels i because i know how crazy it felt to me that there was some sort of toxicity or some sort of power dynamic in my friend group but really just take the moment especially when creating content that you're trying to get viewership out of or you're trying to get laughs out of like really take a moment and and look at where the jokes end and where the feelings begin because i think that's so incredibly important. Okay, um, I'll see you guys. Bye. I thought that was a good apology. I know people probably will watch it and have like ill things to say about it, but I thought I thought it was a good apology. Um, yeah, you know, I, I do hope and uh, pray the best for David, but I do also hope and pray the best for uh, everybody that's been affected by um, this whole situation. So, uh, 
yeah, you know, it's a thing where, um, yeah, it's it's going to take uh, time for people to learn, like, how serious this stuff is and understand it a little bit better. But, um, and that being said, um, I will talk to you guys later. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching and peace.